Well, Jerry, it must be said that after the Dublin defeat last year, Donegal Gold were regarded as pariahs. They were regarded as the group who had cannibalised the code. They were looked on as the apostles of anti-football. But this group of guys have shown quality. They've forced a rethink and a reassessment on how they should be accepted. They've been exceptional athletes and they've stitched together six displays or seven displays of power teamwork with athleticism, skill, belief and courage, character have been the trademarks of their, uh, of their play. They're worthy winners today. They're deserving champions. And from the tip of Mallon to the southerly point of the Drouse River to the hills, the valleys, the towns along the majestic coastline through the wild wilderness of the Blue Stacks, this will be celebrated by no other and fair play to them. Yeah, it certainly is their day. Michael Murphy, the captain. Jim McGuinness, a man who has always accentuated the positive. And this trophy, the most famous trophy in Irish sport, is going back to Tia Connell. She's happy. They're all happy. Jim's fixed it. And could I just mention briefly, Seamus Boner, a great stalwart of Donegal, is watching this. Not in great form at the moment, as is Jim Natch Gallagher. And Seamus O'Kane, who emigrated on this day in 1961 to go to Australia, former great Donegal footballer. It's a great day for them. But for Mayo, just to go to them, they have nothing, only, to, you know, the disappointment of losing will be acute. But their character, their defiance was wonderful to witness today after an appalling start. And they've come out of this with an awful lot of credit. Well, there were a lot of people wondering whether or not Carol Lacey and his colleagues would be able to enjoy this without the fans intruding and coming in. And thankfully, the fans are playing their part by staying up on Hill 16 and in the seats and in the stands and allowing the players just this moment to themselves. They always say afterwards, the 20 minutes or so after the final whistle, when they're down there on the ground, that's so special. Yes, and when you think about it, Carl Lacey today, you know, maybe it wasn't his most spectacular game, but it was, as we said before, the power of the collective, that honesty and hard work that Donegal have shown all, all year, and the hope and expectation of all rhyme together today, have come together for Jim McGuinness, Colm Anthony McFadden, a person who was on the scrap heap three years ago, PJ McGon, the county chairman with him, a wonderful former footballer himself, and look at that for joy. And the sun has come out as well, making it just the most perfect day if you happen to be from Donegal. But sympathies to everybody from Mayo. They played their hearts out, as Martin Carney was saying, but defeat is their lot once again. There's P.J. McGowan there, the county chairman. There's uh, Paddy McFrearty, the youngest player to play in the final. Frankie McGlynn there and Michael Murphy. And there's a picture for the local papers, I'm sure, later in the week. And yeah. the music sounds all around Croke Park. And it's a sheer picture of joy, a wonderful afternoon for Danny Gall. It's about the winners, however. Top on the losers. Very hard on the losers, very hard on Mayo to stomach defeat once more. But as I said, Mayo have come out of this game today with a lot of kudos. After that appalling start for the consumer, eight, seven points down within you know the first ten minutes of the match. They really took the game back to Donegal. They really forced Donegal to come out and earn that victory today. But Jim McGuinness's imprint, thumbprint, whatever print you want to call it, has been on this team from the beginning. And by God, have they come some journey from the ashes of Cross McGlenn two years ago. Well, we just uh, are about to see the presentation of the Sam Maguire Cup to Donegal. And the Taoiseach there, a disappointed Mayo man, as all Mayo people will be, and the president, Uchtaron Cup and Luke Raskell, Liam O'Neill about to make that presentation. 20 years on, can you believe it? From the day they won it with Brian McIniff in charge, Anthony Malloy, Martin McHugh, James McHugh, all the great players, Joyce McMullen. Now it's a whole new group of players. They are the new legends. Yes, and with it's law on to fish off the fell gaelic. I was a common loot fast bail. I was wall on where was a goal. Then we all, I was doing it now. I some clear on to braver sport. You'll have a good or doing in you to hard volley till tag. I can do iron. Well, I'm called Rona Coronel. The we all predator could be on Dara. I'll be in Bua. I can furnish a star in you.
Tres Liam O'Cree, the Dunanaul, Asan Boa Unta Kavioko and you. Peter Marfurin, the Blina, or Hus, the Blina, Agus Iskriak Arunak, a shot to even you. Bolam Wickers of Oil, the Ulster Bank, Super Value, Agus Aircom, Asan Orik, a Hugger doing, Earl Grave Shaw. Agus Anish, is Kush Ahish, Agus Anora Dom, Karn Sam Mugir, Ervrunna, Erfelador, Nablina, Captain Untuk Dunagal, Mihal Omorakou. 1992 has been bridged. 2012, Michael Murphy from Glen Swilly, only 23 years of age, takes the Sam Maguire Cup from Liam O'Neill, Donegal are champions! Champions for the second time and very, very worthy champions. Celebration time at Croke Park, where 82,000 people have witnessed the occasion. Well, he came, Jim McGuinness, with a message to the players, and they believed he gave them the challenge. They took on board that challenge. This is the end result. Yeah, I'm so pleased for Michael Morphy, wonderful young fella, a humble lad, guy who has given immense service to the county even at a tender age of 23. And just a, when you look at him there, you know, his dad will be so proud today, a Bunny Conlon man from County Mayo, but his dad, Mayo, he might be born, but by Donegal he will be today in, in heart and soul. We have him! Look there on the hair, look there on coming to the class gale, the carriage gale, to ask and do an arm, and call and shout back out, her fair and then and now. Delighted to accept this trophy on behalf of the Donegal team. It's an absolute fantastic honour and privilege here to claim these steps on behalf of each and every one of these players to my left the management team out there, and each and every one of the people of Donegal. <laughs> Firstly, to go through a lot of thank yous to these players here to my left. The commitment, the dedication, everything that they have done over the last two plus years has been an absolute credit. I say a massive shout out to each and every one of the players that have put the shoulder to the wheel throughout the last two years. Thanks, boys. <laughs> to the families, to the wives, to the girlfriends, to all the close friends, to each and every one of the players and backroom team. I want to really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for the continued support that you've given us throughout the last couple of years. Massive dedication that everybody had to put on. A big thank you to you. <laughs> to the backroom team, to Pat Shovelin, Maxi Kern, Michael McMenamin, Joe McCluskey, Charles McGuinness, Adam Spear, Eugene Ivers and Gadam Ward. Boys, thanks a million hey, for getting us in the best of shape. <laughs> to the medical team, Mr. Kevin Moore and Dr. Charlie McManus, Dermot Simpson, JD McGrenner, Donald Reed, Charlie Malloy, and Paul Coyle. Thanks for keeping all the injuries at bay. Thanks a million men. The sponsors, Missouri, Donegal Creameries, and to everyone that's generously cont contributed towards the whole training fund all year. Um, I really, really thanks to the whole lot of us. As I say, to run a team these years takes a lot of money, and I say thanks a million to everyone. I want to give a special thanks to Evolve Menswear and Letterkenny for getting us out with suits and casual gear throughout the year, and also to McGuinness Buses and Kevin for the top class transport. <laughs> to 
the county board for their brilliant cooperation, support and help throughout the whole number of years. Thanks a million for making everything possible. We're getting there. To the clubs all around the county, just want to thank a million for the use of their pitches and facilities, especially St. Gudens, McCool's and thank Castle Fun. To our caterers throughout the year, Jimmy McGlynn, Jackson's Hotel, Villa Rose, Mount Eregal and Abbey Hotel, Johnstown House, thanks a million. <laughs> to the Mayo team, just want to thank you a million boys for a sporting game out there today. Out there today, could have went any way at all. They're a fantastic group of footballers, and I'm sure you've seen them back throughout the years. Three cheers for me, oh, hop, hop. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. So two men now, 